We are a multi-state organization that is considering rolling out one nationwide handbook for all our employees. What are some of the pros and cons of nationwide policies? Having a single nationwide handbook definitely has its advantages. It can be easier for HR, payroll, and managers to understand and administer nationwide policies, such as one paid sick leave policy, one vacation policy, or one medical leave policy. Also, giving the same benefits to all employees can improve employee morale and avoid feelings of unfairness because everyone is subject to the same policies. It can also be a recruiting tool in states where legally mandated employee benefits and protections are sparse because to be compliant nationwide, policies must often be more generous than what most states or localities require. Which brings us to the cons. To comply with varied and numerous state and local requirements, uniform nationwide policies, like time off policies, must often be way more generous and way more financially costly than what many employers would prefer. For example, an employer with a nationwide uniform vacation policy would be required to pay out accrued vacation upon separation in all instances when only 18% of states actually require such a payout. Nationwide policies can also be unwieldy and confusing to employees when they contain multiple exceptions to comply with federal, state, and local laws. Take no recording policies as an example. The NLRB takes the position that employees can record others if they're acting in concert for their mutual aid and protection. But in California, it is actually a crime to record a confidential communication with another without both parties' consent. This tension would have to be reconciled in a nationwide no recording policy. Finally, extending policies nationwide can burden smaller divisions or business units and frustrate operations. For instance, applying a nationwide FMLA policy that allows for 12 weeks off to employees who work at a small location that does not have 50 employees in a 75 mile radius could place a significant burden on that location if it doesn't have adequate staffing for when multiple people are out of work for a long period of time. Employers considering nationwide policies need to take into account a broad range of issues, including business operations, employee relations, and state and local requirements to determine whether, for their particular business, the pros of nationwide policies outweigh the potential cons. For more information on drafting and deploying nationwide or jurisdiction-specific handbook policies, please reach out to your Littler attorney or visit us at littler.com.